Hey, it's me, Logan, from KidsCanMeditate.com, and today we're going to be starting the Roman series, which is where we're going to read one chapter from the book of Romans a day. Check, check us for n new uploads. Romans chapter 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, is called to be an apostle, which is separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore the, the prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and he declared to be the Son of God, with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleships for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom are ye also are called of Jesus Christ, to be all that in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, and that your faith is strengthened throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, who I will serve with the Spirit and the gospel of his Son, without ceasing. I make m mention that you are always in your, my prayers, making a request, if by any means now at a length, that I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, and to the end ye may be established, that is, that I may be comforted together with you and your the mutual faith on both you and me. Now, I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I propose to come unto you that I that I, that I might have some fruit among you, even even among other Gentiles. I am a debtor to both of the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as me is as much as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you to you that are in Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation, that every one believeth to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, and is written, The just shall live from faith. For the wrath of God is unrevealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness ness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God manifest in them, and that he, being understood the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that, he, that they are without excuse. This is the word of the Lord. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Seek him as he is seeking you. Meditate, meditate, meditate.